Yo, it's boy Sakuraman. and today I'm back with another video. This video is a sequel to one of my most popular videos on my channel right now. How to reduce lag in GeForce Now. So, in this video I'll be talking about a way to reduce input lag and improve mouse delay. And yes, this is updated for 2021. So before I start this video, make sure that you guys do like this video and subscribe for more content like this. If we hit 50 likes, I'll make another part to improve lag on GeForce Now. Anyways, let's get into the video. So the first thing that I wanted to say that this is only for Windows, so just note that. Because I do not have a Macintosh, there's no way I can actually test any of this. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to use a Windows computer and this is just going to be for Windows computers. So the next thing you're going to do is you're just going to right click on the GeForce Now app. And you guys are just going to look for open file location. So it'll lead you to this. Or another way we can do it is if you guys don't have the desktop app like the desktop shortcut you can just search up geforce now and click open file location so just click on that and then you're just gonna right click on geforce now here and you're just gonna click open file location again and it'll lead you to the same place so just you should click on that and now we're gonna look for geforce now JSON. so it's right here obviously but if you guys do not see it then just go to view and just um you guys might have hidden items off so sometimes it won't show when hidden items is off so you're just gonna click on that you guys gonna reselect hidden items or select if you haven't and you guys are just going to now right click on this and go to properties so if you guys cannot find the properties then all you guys need to do as i just showed is just click right click on it and just click properties so since i've already done this method i've already unselected read only and hidden because read only and hidden is normally supposed to be selected but since i've already done this before as, as i'm testing it and stuff so i've already done it anyways so normally it should be like this or sometimes hidden might not be there either it all depends but normally it would be like this and what we're going to do is we're just going to unselect read only by clicking on the box and unselect hidden click apply and click ok now we're just gonna open the file and since i've already done this again what you would need to do is you guys would need to click open with click notepad and then click ok so first things first we need to change some of the files uh, from true to false or from false to true so first thing we're going to do is we're going to switch nv.sdl or dash vsync from true to false so we're just going to quickly just change this from false. And the next thing we're going to look at is nv-sdl-iohid-configurable. And we're going to change this from false to true. And make sure that there's no capitals, there's no space. Just put it in the exact location that it is. Now we're going to look for nv-sdl-hidpi. And we're going to change this from false to true. So you can quickly change this from false to true. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to look for nv-def-window-size. And I've already changed it since I've already done it. Like I said, I've done this before to test and see if it actually works. And it does work. And uh, this resolution, you guys might not have this exact resolution. You might have something similar around these numbers so you just change it so you're going to change the existing numbers you're going to replace it with your screen resolution so uh to find your screen resolution just search up resolution in the search bar and just click on change the resolution of the display and just click over here it'll tell you what's recommended so just follow if it's just follow the one that it says recommended so since my recommended is 1920 by 1080 I'm, I already changed it to 1920 by 1080. Now, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go, we're just going to click Control S. Or another way we can do it is click File and then click Save. So, what we're going to do is if you guys have GeForce, the GeForce Now application open already, close it and then reopen it. And if you don't have it open, then just you can just open it and you don't need to do that extra step. So, I'm just going to open it. Just give it a minute it might take a minute because it's the files have changed so it might take a minute loading and stuff so the next thing to see if this actually did work we're gonna go click menu we're gonna click settings and we're gonna scroll down all the way and as you can see i'm just gonna full screen 
It says direct mouse input. Minimizes mouse latency during gameplay. This may cause irregular keyboard and mouse behavior on some systems. This setting will take effect the next time you launch a game. So we're just gonna turn this on. So if you guys have already done this, it's probably turned on, but if it's not, just turn it on anyways. And just open up any game now and just make sure that it's green. Make sure it's on the right side and it's green. And you're just gonna open up any other game you want and see if it works. And I just wanted to say, as I just read from this, that it might not improve on some behavior, like it might not improve on some systems. So yeah, you're just gonna have to see. For me, it made a huge difference. Like I do not have any more mouse delay anymore. But for some people, it might do the opposite. It might actually, in some cases, make it worse. So just make sure that you just try it, see uh, see how it goes. If you like it, then you can use it. If it's not working well for you, then you can just revert all the file changes by going back into the files and changing all the true files or from to the ones that you've changed to false from true. And then you can also change the other ones that you did true from false. So you can just swap around the files do not mess with any of the other files just only change if it's not working well just only change the files that i told you guys to change which was the nv dash sdl vsync and since we changed it from true to false just change it back to true and then the nv dot sdl dash iohid dash configurable change that from true to false and then just change the nv dash def dash window dash size and just uh you can either choose the same resolution or you guys can um revert it back for me it didn't really make much of a difference so i kind of just kept it and then the last thing is to change the nv dash sdl dash hidpi and change that from true to false so i just told you guys how to get how to get the setting in geforce now i told you guys how to revert it and uh, yeah this is pretty much my video if you guys did enjoy this video then please leave a like and subscribe i hope you guys really did enjoy this video so just remember if we have 50 likes i'll post another video similar to this in, in the sense that it's going to be a how to reduce lag video and subscribe if you found this helpful anyways it's been your boy techram and i'll see you in a bit peace